Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you watched my last video, you saw that I wrapped up my evening by prepping the ingredients to make some vanilla cake. So we are starting where I left off. I filmed this video on a Sunday after getting home from church. Juan brought the kids to see his family and I stayed home to tackle some tasks that I had been putting off. This cake is going to be for my niece's baptismal celebration. I made and froze the vanilla frosting about a week before and will be wrapping and sticking these cakes as I make them in the freezer as well. I anticipate I will assemble the cake the day before the baptism. I have found that making the components ahead of time and freezing them reduces my stress when making cakes, rather than try to do everything all in one day. Here I am making a double batch of the batter, which ended up yielding about 7 6-inch cakes and 24 mini cupcakes. I plan on using six of the cake layers when I get around to assembling the cake for the party, and any leftovers will just be consumed by my family. The time-consuming part of making my tall six-inch diameter cakes is that I only have two silicone cake pans in the size, so I have to take the two cakes out of the oven and wait for them to cool just a little bit, remove the cakes, scrape down the pans if necessary, and then fill them back up and repeat the process. I kind of feel like having the oven running that entire time is wasted energy. So I figured I would try a new recipe for lunch that would use the oven during the period of time that the cakes were cooling. So for lunch, I thought I would try making some sourdough discard pizza. I've seen some people make more complex dough, but for today, I'm adding some oil to a skillet that preheated in the oven and pouring on my sourdough discard. For those of you new to the world of sourdough, this is unactivated sourdough starter that I removed from my starter jar to allow space for it to grow when I fed it. I spread this out on the pan and added garlic powder, oregano, and some Parmesan cheese before throwing it in the oven. A little while later, once it is cooked through, we will be adding on the sauce and the cheese.
So during all this baking, there were some periods of time where I was just kind of waiting for the next step. So I figured I would try and tackle another thing on my to-do list, juicing a bunch of oranges that a family member had given us. I can't wait for my trees to start producing so I can do this more often for my family. Before we move on to the next task, it is worth mentioning that the pizza was pretty yummy. I plan on experimenting with the thickness and cook times in the future, but overall I would give this lunch a thumbs up. Now a while ago I was able to tackle reorganizing our master bathroom cupboards and drawers so that they would be more functional. But what I didn't get around to doing was labeling the containers, so that is what we are going to do now. Hopefully, with the big clear labels, our master bathroom will actually stay organized. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light. I make the same mistake more than twice. Same song, but brand new dance. I wear out. Third second chance You take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix But we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I know we won't give this up
So by now it was getting close to dinner time and I thought I would make myself a grilled cheese inspired by the ones at Starbucks. First, we mix up some butter and Parmesan cheese before spreading it on some sourdough bread. I am very proud to say that I made this bread myself. Next, I like to assemble my grilled cheese on the pan before turning on the heat to medium low. I layered some white cheddar and mozzarella cheese on top of the bread, added on the top piece of sourdough, and then covered the pan until the bottom was a golden brown. This is such a yummy sandwich, but like I mentioned in my birthday freebie video, I just can't justify spending the money or the stars to actually buy one at Starbucks. So I am super happy that I am able to recreate it at home. We are going to wrap up this evening by doing the dishes and tidying up the kitchen. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are new here, I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. I take care of all things mom on this channel. I have party preps, organizational videos, vlogs, and more. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.